Hi everyone, Akash Verma this side and welcome to Pharma Minds channel. On this channel, we prepare for GPAT, NIPAR, Pharmacist, Drug Inspector and every other examination that is related to pharma sector. So today I am going to talk about a very, very important thing that is the current topic that is AIMS, CRE, Slavers. Because without knowing the slavers, you cannot prepare for any examination. So what I'll be discussing in this video, I'll just give you the flow of content so that you have the better understanding what you will be learning from this video. First thing I'll be discussing about is the marking scheme for a correct answer, how much marks you'll be getting or a wrong answer, how much marks will be deducted or how many questions will be there. What will be the examination pattern? So that will be discussed here today. Then I'll be discussing about the very important thing that is the slavers of non-pharma, non-pharma as in the English part or aptitude part. And then we'll be moving on to the pharma that is our expertise. Third thing we'll be discussing is the course that we have just launched today only and what are the features that is available in this course and why you should enroll in this course. I'll be telling you that also. Okay, and last I'll be telling you about the four PYQs. Actually, there has been four previous year question papers like Delhi, Raipur, Bhuvneshwar or Patna. So we'll be uploading all the four PYQs, almost 400 plus questions on YouTube so that you complete all the previous year questions for the aims and you are well prepped for the examination because any examination beat IIT beat uh, AIMS beat, um, GPAD beat, GATE, you have to know the previous year questions because those questions are root of any examination. Okay, so first thing we'll start with the marking scheme and the pattern that you should be knowing. So let's go into that part. Okay, so we have first of all the examination will be CBT it will be on computer and duration will be 90 minutes that is one hour 30 minutes and there will be 100 MCQs okay uh, of 400 marks so basically uh, each question carries four marks I think that is clear from here now 25 MCQs will be from the non-pharma that is general knowledge aptitude knowledge of computer and 75 MCQs will be from the pharma the thing that you are learning since first year and I know all the students who have been preparing for RRB drug inspector examination you must be having the pharma thing or pharma content on your tips and in the course we help you revise it okay so now the next thing which is very important to know here is question paper will be divided into five sections and each section will be of 18 minutes duration that is uh, you'll be getting a total 90 minutes okay and uh, then you move from section one to section two so section one will be disabled you can't go back to that so this is something which you should be knowing if you are attempting five sections you can't be going back to the previous section which you have already uh, just answered okay so it will be disabled after 18 minutes so this is something very critical you have to question like you have to be uh, very much certain how you are going to answer these questions. Okay. Next thing, you will be allowed only to attempt questions in currently active section. Now there must be a doubt uh, that uh, can I skip from section one to section two or section three? You can't skip. You have to go otherwise section one. Then it will be finished. Then you have to go to section two. Then you have to go to section three, and you can't go back. So this is something interesting, and it makes the paper hard, but not for you for everyone. Okay, the examination medium, uh, it will be in English and Hindi, so it will be bilingual. For all the posts where specific technical domain language is an ex essential qualification or post career, okay, this is something English only, so I think there's nothing to worry about that. Okay, the decision of competent authority at AIMS will be final. Okay, all the decision will be taken by the AIMS only, there's nothing to discuss about that. Okay. Now qualifying and other criteria, each question carries four marks. And if you get a question wrong, answer wrong, it will be minus one by four. So this is very important, the negative marking, which you should be remembering. 
during the examination. The qualifying marks for the unreserved category or general EWS is 40%, OBC 35%, SCST 30%. Okay, and for the PWBD, it is irrespective of what category you belong to, be it general OBC, you uh, are uh, the, uh, the qualification marks asked from you is 30%. Okay. Now, as more than one institute are participating in this recruitment, choice and order of preference of organization will be obtained from qualified candidates as per eligibility in participating institute. Any candidate who not do not opt for any of the participating organization will not be considered. Basically, after qualifying this examination, as there are many of the AIMS participating in this, AIMS Bhuvaneshwar, AIMS Delhi, AIMS Raipur, AIMS Patna. So after qualifying the examination, you will be asked to fill the order, preference order. Like I fill Delhi first, then I go to Bhuvaneshwar, then I go to Raipur. And on the basis of the seats and on the basis of the marks, you will be allotted a particular AIMS. So that's I think, something which is cleared here. Now we'll move on to the slavers part. Let's cover the slavers of non-pharma first because uh, this is something which is bothering everyone. Everyone is aware about the pharma part. Okay, we need to study pharmacology, pharmaceutics. Everything is just already self-explanatory. But what is more worrying here is the non-pharma. So you'll be asked general intelligence, analogies, similarities, differences, spatial visualization, problem solving. So these are some topics which will be asked to you. Okay, verbal and figure classification, arithmetical reasoning. Now we'll move on to the next thing that is the GK and current affair. So current events means current affair. So we'll be helping you in this part through our course. We'll be providing you daily current affairs which will help you in your preparation. Then India and its neighboring countries, history, culture. We'll be covering everything here in our course. Okay, so it will be all provided to you in the form of recording. You can watch all the lectures at any time at your convenience. Okay, sure. Next is basically the uh, the another thing which can be asked from the maths that is aptitude and number systems, whole numbers, decimal fraction, relation between numbers, fundamental arithmetic operations, percentage, averages, interest. I think we have all studied this in 9th and 10th class, so you just need to brush it up revise it up so we'll be covering everything in the course we'll be uploading the lectures of these so you can just go through them and you can be well prepped for the examination okay now uh, basically we are planning to go and upload some videos on YouTube for the previous year questions so basically aims daily 2017 150 questions are there so we'll be uploading it on the YouTube so from here you can just finish all the previous year questions thoroughly because it will be very much critical for you to do all the previous year questions. Aims Bhuveshner 100 questions, Aims Raipur 100 questions, Aims Patna 100 questions, Aims CRE 80 questions. For this we don't have the question paper because it was not released but just telling you that in Aims CRE that happened in 2024 out of 80 questions, non-pharma had 40 questions. Whereas in Ames Raipur, you had 100 questions, 30 questions, non-pharma. But this year, you already know 25% questions will be non-pharma and remaining 75 will be pharma. So this year pattern is already clear, but I just wanted to let you know that uh, how previous year paper have happened and all these questions which are mentioned here, except this one because this paper is not released, will be uploaded on our channel with Pharma Minds and Pharma Mind Jobs. Okay. So make sure that you go through these videos and finish all the PYQs stuff from Pharma Minds only. Okay. Okay. Let's cover the Pharma Pharmacy syllabus because that is also something important. So what you can expect in terms of pharmacy so it's a very big syllabus of eight pages so i'll just walk you through it in one minute and uh, i'll upload the pdf in the description box so it talks about uh, i think that it's the sutex part here different dosage forms which i'll take the pen from here okay so dosage forms metrology packaging size separation 
these are all the topics of pharmaceutics as you can see and we'll be providing the lectures of all these topics in our course that we have launched today only and the price of the course is only 99 rupees till 23rd of january and after that the course will be 199 rupees so it's the most affordable course uh, for this uh, particular vacancy in india right now so don't waste your time just go and enroll in the course because everything will be provided be it lectures recordings be it class tests be it current affairs non pharma content we are going to provide everything in the course right away okay next thing pharmacognosy you can go through that also i think everything is mentioned here uh, if you can just relate with gpat syllabus uh, if you can compare so it's very much similar to gpat only but trust me the level of this examination level of this examination will be uh, very uh, easy as compared to gpat because gpat examination is tough okay then you have biochemistry and clinical pathology so i'll just go through and read only the subjects name here human anatomy and physiology community pharmacy and then we have pharmaceutics dispensing pharmacy pharmaceutical chemistry pharmacology and toxicology then we have jurisprudence so everything is mentioned here so we can just sim simply understand this thing that the gpat syllabus is here okay like 60% of gpat syllabus you have to prepare for this examination but on a very basic level you don't have to read everything you just need to go through very basic basic content for the amcre okay and at last i would like to talk you through again the course that we have launched because it's launched just today and you can prepare for the amcre in just 40 days with this course which is available under 200 rupees and for one week we have put it under 99 rupees only it will contain all the lectures of pharma and non pharma subject wise mcq test series non pharma mcqs current affairs mcqs and notes strategy and guidance sessions all things will be available here at the cost of 99 rupees why the cost is very low because we understand that the time is left and like this the time uh, left for you is very less and uh, you know to prepare properly you need everything right now okay so that's it for this video in the next video i'll be covering about the eligibility part as mentioned earlier and other important aspects that need to be covered because i don't want you to cover those 207 pages okay sure thank you